let us also look at impairment and disposal what is impairment when the value of the asset is impaired or damaged the value is reduced impairment of property plant and equipment if the carrying value okay carrying the value that you have in the books this is the carrying value if the carrying value is greater than the cash value of the future cash flows impairment exists impairment exists so when when do you say there is impairment we say there is impairment when the cash value of the future cash flows say i i am i bought machine on year 1 i am now in year 3 and i expect the machine to be there till year 5 at the end of year 3 when i look at the machine i see that it's carrying value do you remember what is the carrying value carrying value is what the cost of the asset cost of asset less accumulated depreciation less accumulated depreciation cost of the asset less accumulated depreciation is the carrying value of the asset so let me think let me say that the carrying value of this asset happens to be 8000 then i look at the future cash flows in year 4 i expect the cash flow from this machine operation of this machine to be let us say 2000 and in year 5 i expect it to be 3000 so what is 2000 plus 3000 i get 5000 so the future cash flows that i will get from this is only 5000 but the carrying value of the machine is 8000 that means the book value is much more than the benefit that i am going to get from this uh, from this machine therefore 3000 there is an impairment to the extent of 3000 there is a loss in value to the extent of 3000 if that is the case this this future value cash value of the future cash flows is said to be the fair value that is supposed to be the fair value of the machine what is the fair value of the machine the cash value of the future cash flows the cash flows the future cash flows sum of the future cash flows is the fair value i compare the fair value with the carrying value if carrying value is more than the fair value that means the benefit i am going to get is lower i'm not going to get this much benefit then bring down the carrying value you don't have an asset which is worth so much correct then asset must be written down to its fair value how will you write it down to the fair value we say impairment loss debit this will go to the income statement and we take the difference to accumulated depreciation here 8000 is the carrying value but only 5000 is the 5000 is the future cash flow fair value so 3000 would be taken as impairment loss to accumulated depreciation okay but if suppose if suppose your carrying value is less than the fair value then not recognized not recognized we do not see the increase in fair value only if there is a decrease in the fair value we have to be alert if your carrying value is more than the fair value then you have to uh, provide for an impairment loss take this to the income statement and increase your valuation account increase your valuation but increase in fair value we do not recognize this is as per us cap but like i discussed before increase in fair value is recognized under ifrs ifrs there is one method of uh, of accounting for in and accounting for <coughs> property plant and equipment is to test for test look at the fair value at the end of each year look at the fair value at the end of each year in that case any increase in fair value would also be Uh, recognized as also any decrease but under us gap decrease is impairment we have to provide for it increase in fair value is not considered clear so what are we looking at is uh, is carrying value greater than fair value 
This is the question. Yes or no? Correct? Is carrying value greater than thing? If carrying value is greater, if the answer to this is yes, then there is impairment. Correct? If the answer to this is no, nothing needs to be done. No action. But if your carrying value is greater, there is impairment and I have to provide for impairment loss. That's all. But if fair value is greater, I don't have to do anything. Which is different from IR, IFRS. Clear? Okay. Disposal of PPE. Both asset account and depreciation account are reduced. So when you are disposing of the asset, right? Now suppose you had started with a cost of 10,000 and now you have an accumulated depreciation of 7,000 so that the carrying value is 3,000. So this is 7,000. <clears> the carrying value is now 3,000. So what do you do? You have to bring down, bring down the value of the asset. <clears throat> Bring down the value of the asset. Asset you remember is debit, right? Left hand side item, debit. Bring down. So you credit asset and you debit the value. You have to bring down the asset, bring down the accumulated depreciation account. So accumulated depreciation would be debited. How much you have there? 7,000. Remove it from the books. 7,000 is the value. 2. Asset. How much is your asset? 10,000. Remove it. Right? So now this difference is your 3,000. How much do I sell and get? Suppose I get uh, 2,000. I get only 2,000. So cash, money comes in, asset comes in. So I debit that 2,000. Therefore, I get only 2,000. When the book value was how much? Was carrying value is 3,000. There is a loss. Therefore, there is a loss. In such a situation, I have an entry like this. Accumulated depreciation is 7,000. Cash I get is 2,000. Loss I suffer is 1,000. And on the other side, I have asset value of 10,000. Depreciation 10. This is carrying value 3,000. I get only 2,000 and 1,000 is, 1,000 is loss. If I get more, then I make a gain on disposal of asset, which I can take to the income statement. So if the sale proceeds are greater than the carrying value, there is profit. If sale proceeds are lower than the carrying value, then there is a loss on disposal. A machinery costing $20,000 with a life of 4 years and a salvage value of $1,000 depreciated on straight line method was sold at the end of 3 years. What is the profit or loss on disposal assuming the asset was sold for a option 6000 b option 5000 costing 20000 salvage value 1000 was depreciated on straight line method and was sold at the end of 3 years what is the depreciation students you realize how to do this what is your depreciable amount straight line right 20000 minus 1000 is equal to 19000 what is this the depreciable amount what is the life Four years. Estimated life, four years. So what is depreciation per annum? Per annum is equal to 19,000 divided by four. Is it four, seven, five, zero? Yes, four, seven, five, zero is the depreciation <coughs> per year. Three years are over. Therefore, annual depreciation 4750, accumulated depreciation at the end of 3 years 4750 multiplied by 3, 0, 15, 22, 14, 14,250, right? So the carrying value is original cost was 20,000 minus 14,250, 5750 is the carrying value of the asset. In the first case, 5,750 carrying value sold for 6,000. Therefore, you make a profit of 250. Yes or no? 
So this is the entry. What are the items involved? Bank, you get 6,000. You have to write back this accumulated depreciation of 14,250, right? Accumulated depreciation 14,250. Write back the asset 20,000. Remove the, there is no asset. Now you are selling it. Remove asset by crediting it. Remove valuation account by debiting the accumulated depreciation account. Money comes in, asset goes up 6,000. Difference is a profit on sale of asset. Profits are credits, losses are debits. <clears throat> but if you sell it for 5,000, what happens? Then you make a loss of 750. Let's see, bank is 5,000. Depreciation, 250. Asset, 20,000. So for this equation to match the two sides, remember, if I call this... The left side and the right side, the debit side and the credit side, they need to tally. This is what is called a journal entry. Remember, every transaction has two sides and the two sides have to be equal. So, bank 5,000, correct. Depreciation, I'm writing off 14,250 in the valuation account. I'm writing off the asset of 20,000. So, there is a loss of 750. Yes or no? Why? Because 5,750 is my carrying value, but I get only, I get only 5,000. Loss on disposal, 750 debited. This will go to the income statement as a loss. This will go to the income statement as a gain.